Hello everyone. So in this session we are going to see about clear instruction in move and logical. Okay. Can you see C L R? So I'll just take one more new run. Just take this instruction. It is also a output instruction. So what is this clear instruction? Exactly what it will do? See, if you see the uh, you know instruction, it is having only one parameter, which is called as some destination. So you need to give some address to this destination. Whenever the instruction is getting true condition, it will be clearing the data which is in that whatever the data you have put it in that address that will be cleared. Cleared means what? It will refresh back to zero. If the data may be imagine the data is having some hundred. It is when the instruction is going through, whenever making the run condition going through, it is making that 100 to 0. Fine. It is not only for integer. You can go for timer preset value or accumulator value or you can go for source, whatever it may be. Okay. Normally this address B3 colon 0 we have given for source. Right. And uh, this one we cannot change because this is the output of you are not a gate. We cannot change that. But what are the input you can give? B3 colon 0, B3 colon 1. These are all you can give in clear instruction. So let's see that. So to make this true, I am going to have one more input. Okay. So this input address I am just giving I3, I colon 0 slash 1. So whenever switch 2 is on, oh, our clear instruction is gone. Okay, let's take that. So, in this, I'm going to give, let's give B3 colon 0, okay. I'll just give this. Check for errors. And uh, let's give some big value here. 8884. Let's give like this, okay. So, see here, can you, can you see it is updated here also because the same address I have used. So, let's go for download run right so let's turn on this it will do the xor function that is fine right it is doing the regular xor functions right now if it is on what will happen clear clear means what whatever data it is over here no 8884 eight, 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 this going to be zero i'll just take this also see here it is completely filled with 8, 8, 8 and this is 4. Correct. First B3 colon 0. Right. So let's turn on this fellow. Turn on this. Yeah. Can you see? It is cleared. Can you, can you see? It is updated here also. Updated here also. And even if you want, you check the data. Data file. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. Can you see? 0, 0, 0, 0, everything is cleared. Now you can give some new data here. But before that it should be in off condition. Just give some new data. Fine. Yeah, new data came. or I have given the same number. If you turn it on again, it will go back to 0 again. So whenever you want to refresh the data, like uh, you, you want to make the data to zero, in that case you can use this clear instruction. And this one is not only taking this B3 colon, not only binary value, you can give integer address also. So for that, I'll take a move instruction here. I'll just take a move instruction. For destination, I'll give this uh, source, I'll just give one... Uh, you know uh, integer address for both I am giving integer address fine I will just give in 7 colon 0 here fine let's make download fine so now just give any value it is moved that's fine if you turn on this that will back to zero got it that's it right shall we try for one time more yeah
let's try this oh i have not changed it here i just give in 7 colon 0 only so i need to give timers preset address here So before going online, just check whether you have updated everything. I have not checked now. That's what it happened. Fine. Can you see? Preset is changed to 0 immediately and the, your done bit is on. That means what? Accumulator value is equal to preset value. Correct? That's what the done bit is on. When the done bit will be on, like uh, preset is 10, accumulator value is reached also 10. That time your done bit will be on. But here both are 0, 0. So accumulator is on. You can turn off this and you can give some new preset value. You need to give the trigger again. Then only it will start again. If you again turn on, it will go back to zero. That's it. Got it? So this is the clear instruction. You can make use this clear instruction for some comparator instructions also. If you want to make something to zero, you can make use of this clear instruction. So just practice this in a software. I'll meet you in the next session with another topic. Thank you.